Welcome to 5 Stars ABC Next Gen Body Inspection Tutorial. Whether you're a builder, racer, or tech inspector, this video will show you the proper steps to take when inspecting the ABC Next Gen body. We'll show you how to utilize the referee, template package, and other key inspection practices to ensure proper mounting. The referee will measure the following front overhang of the nose, tread width, roof height, door height, rear deck height, and wheelbase. A new upgraded feature to the referee is the laser gauge. This gauge will check front overhang and engine setback. The engine setback instructional video will be available separately. Before checking front overhang, position the referee and attach the rear wheel locators to the front wheels. Magnetic wheel plates are a recent upgrade to the referee, making for a quicker, easier attachment of the plates. Ensure the graphic on the adjustable arm is set to the proper measurement. Push the button to activate the laser. The laser should hit the ground. If the laser does not hit the ground and instead hits the nose, the front overhang is too long and does not pass inspection. Push the referee into position to measure tread width. Adjust the wheel locator arms so they're in the proper position at the center of the hub. Use the wheel guide on the left to ensure the referee is in proper position. Extend the guide to the collar on the arm. Extend the arm on the wheel guide on the right side of the car into proper position in the wheel and view the measurement on the arm. The wheel locator must be inserted into the wheel horizontally and must be level from left to right. The graphic will show red beyond 65 inches but your tracker sanction may allow 66 inch tread width. Consult your rule book. Move the referee into position to check roof height. The proper location to check is 10 inches back of the windshield roof seam. A polycarbonate piece on the referee is used as a guide. As you slide the referee into position, the arm will displace to roof height. The graphic on the arm will indicate the height of the roof. If the roof is too low, the graphic will display a measurement in the red zone. In that case, the roof would not pass inspection. Be sure to place the front wheel plates first when measuring wheelbase as the rear wheel plate arms are adjustable for different wheelbases. Remove the pin and adjust the arm until the wheel plate is in proper position to lock into the wheel. When displacing the arm to lock into the rear wheel, a measurement will display on the arm. This measurement is the wheelbase. Continuing toward the tail of the car, the next measurement by the referee will be for door height. This is checked with a chain at the intersection of the B post and door. The minimum allowable height is 33 inches. Be sure to calibrate the chains with a tape measurer prior to using the referee. The chain should be touching the body. The inner set of chains is set to 34 and a half inches and will measure the height of the deck lid. To ensure the proper placement of the referee for the measurement, use the front wheel plates and lock them into the rear wheels. The center chain measures the rear overhang as well as the height at the center of the deck lid where the bumper cover seam is located. The chains should not touch the rear deck. If they do, this means the rear deck is too high and does not pass inspection. Templates are used to regulate the shape of the body. The standard template package includes the nose side to side template, left and right fender templates, nose center line template, the body center line template, roof front side to side template, and the roof rear side to side template. The nose side to side template checks the maximum width of the nose at the wheel openings. This maximum measurement is 79 and a half inches. An optional hood pin bar template is available for template sets. The hood pin bar template controls the shape at the hood nose intersection. Another addition to the template package is the air intake template. This template ensures the air intake at the cowl remains at the proper dimensions. The measurements are 2.5 by 20 inches, plus or minus 1 16th of an inch. The left fender must fit the shape of the template within allowable tolerances. Allowable tolerances are a maximum half inch along the template. The left fender template is located 21 and 3 quarter inches from the center line. There is a dimple on the nose to indicate this position. 
The right fender must fit the shape of the template within allowable tolerances. Allowable tolerances are a maximum half inch along the template. The right fender template is located 24 and 3 quarter inches from the center line. There is a dimple on the nose to indicate this position. The nose and hood must fit the nose center line template within the allowable tolerances with the hood pins installed. The nose center line template includes a hash mark at the nose hood intersection. This indicates a critical arrow sensitive area. The tolerance in this area is a maximum quarter inch versus a maximum half inch along the remainder of the template. A new update to the nose center line and body center line is the attachment point to make the two templates continuous over the entire body. The nose center line now contains two grooves to affix to the two pins on the body center line. This helps control the overall shape of the body by preventing the front of the greenhouse from being mounted too low and the nose of the car from being mounted too high. The body centerline template aligns at the attachment point of the nose centerline template and runs parallel along the body where the rear of the template rests at the split of the spoiler. The hash marks on the front and rear of the greenhouse are used in mounting to square the greenhouse with the centerline of the chassis. They are not to be used to indicate template location. The rear of the body centerline template rests on the hump at the seam of the bumper cover between the split and the spoiler. This template controls the following. Front to rear shape of the roof, correct height of the windshield and rear window, the correct shape of the deck lid area from the base of the rear window to the spoiler, and the correct shape of the cowl area and rear of the hood. The front of the roof and the rear of the roof are aero sensitive areas, as indicated by the hash marks on the templates. The tolerance in this area is a maximum quarter inch versus the maximum half inch along the remainder of the template. The rear deck is an aero sensitive area as indicated by the hash mark on the template. The tolerance in this area is a maximum quarter inch. The roof front side to side template is located at the top corners of the windshield and extends down to the top of the doors and partway down the side of the door. The proper placement of the template is at a 90 degree angle to the roof and 20 inches back from the trailing edge of the A post where it meets the door. This template controls the side to side shape of the front of the roof, the correct front roof to door opening, the correct front width of the doors, and the shape of the top of the doors. Note the lines along the template indicating aero sensitive areas with a maximum quarter inch tolerance. The roof rear side to side template is located at the top corners of the rear window at a 90 degree angle to the roof. It extends down the quarter panel across the window over the top of the quarter panel and down to the wheel opening. This template controls the side to side shape of the rear of the roof, the shape of the greenhouse at the quarter panel window, the correct rear width of the doors, and the shape of the top of the quarter panels. The optional rear body template works with the centerline template to maintain the proper shape of the deck lid as well as the shape at the top of the quarter panels. It is centered between the window and the deck lid hold down recess. Different sizes of straight edges can be used for various inspections. This straight edge is used to ensure that the rocker panels are mounted in a single plane from front to rear. A smaller straight edge can be used to ensure the bumper cover and deck lid are mounted in the same plane. A framing square is used to ensure the fender, door, and quarter panel are perpendicular to the ground for the first 15 inches. The maximum gap is 3 eighths of an inch for the first 15 inches up from the ground. The measurement is taken from the leg of the quarter panel to the framing square. An 8 foot straight edge is used to check the proper location of the spoiler. Align the straight edge with the top inside edge of the right door and the hash mark at the top of the quarter panel. The right edge of the spoiler must be within 1 quarter inch from the straight edge. The spoiler blades are to be mounted in equal distance from the seam in the bumper cover. There are several critical measurements that can be determined by using a simple tape measurer. This includes the front valence, door vent windows, wheel openings, and spoiler. The front valence is not to be altered in any manner. The measurements are one and a half inches tall and two and a half inches deep. 
The valence on the nose was designed to create equal aerodynamics between the ABC Next Gen body and the current ABC body. It is also designed to be self-policing, meaning that if the valence is altered in any way, it will harm aerodynamic performance. In the event the lower part of the nose has been worn down, a wear strip may be placed on the nose. The part will be made from plastic only and must measure a maximum of 1 and 7 8 inch tall. The wear strip must be mounted in the same plane as the original front valence. The maximum dimension for the vent window along the top of the door is 12 inches. The window must go 90 degrees from the top of the door up to the A post. The nose and quarter panels are manufactured with a finished wheel opening and must not be altered in any way. Wheel openings may not be larger than 7 inches from the edge of the wheel at the front and rear of the opening. Polycarbonate spoilers must be mounted on the front side of the spoiler base and must maintain the same contour as the bumper cover. Spoilers are available in 6.5 inch tall by 60 inch wide and 5 inch tall by 60 inch wide options. The available options are determined by the sanctioning body. The maximum width of the spoiler is measured across the rear of the spoiler. The maximum height of the top of the corners of the spoiler left and right are 41 inches for a 6.5 inch blade and 39.5 inches for a 5 inch spoiler blade with a deck lid at the correct height. We thank you for viewing this instructional video outlining the proper way to inspect the ABC Next Gen body. For additional guidelines or more information, consult the ABC Next Gen Body official rulebook. It's available online at www.5starbodies.com.